Hello, everyone. This is your host, Susan Rosen. And today my guest is, I remember his last name. Now I can't remember his first name. Last name's Watamal. David. I should That's remember right. that. That's my brother's name. God, one of those days today. Um, yeah. And I am going to, like I usually do, is to ask David if he can give us a little introduction and tell us a little bit about what he's doing and and why and where it all came from. Sure. Well, thanks for having me. Uh, Thank yes, you. my name is David Wadmel. Actually, my my father's name is David, and my grandfather's name is David. So I often go by Dave uh -oh. uh, as well <laughs> to keep things straight. Um, but but yeah, so I'm I'm from Hawaii, and mm -hmm. um, really passionate about helping people live longer, healthier lives. And um, and came across this amazing naturally occurring molecule called astaxanthin um, that most people have not heard of, but all of us have probably consumed it at one point or another because it's actually what makes salmon pink. Uh, right. It gives uh, lobster and crab and shrimp their beautiful color oh, as well. Right. Okay. Even flamingos are pink because of astaxanthin <gasps> through through their diet. Wow. Um, but it's so much more than just a natural pigment. Uh, it has uh -huh. profound uh, impacts on health and longevity. Um, it's a super powerful, uh, if not nature's most powerful antioxidant. Mm. Um, and it's something that actually co-evolved um, with photosynthesis. Um, mm. you know, so millions, billions of years ago when plants uh, were you know, first figuring out how to utilize the sun to create energy and, and thrive, they needed to have a defense mechanism to deal with the byproducts of that UV light. And so that's how nature came up with this whole class of, of uh, oh. compounds called carotenoids. And, uh -huh. uh, and then ultimately landed on astaxanthin, which uh, we've taken a keen interest in because of how it works in the body and, and fights off this oxidative stress and, and inflammation that occurs. Wow. Okay. That's so you know important when you look at, at health and longevity. So, so I've been working on this for 25 years at this point. Um, mm -hmm. I, I started in the late 90s um, when I was um, finishing high school and um, actually worked in the production of the algae that produces this molecule called astaxanthin and have been with it ever since in terms of uh, studying, um, you know, what it does, how it works, how to make it, how to deliver it. Um, and, and so it's been, um, a really exciting journey. And it's something that we find that, um, virtually everyone can benefit from. And so we've been on a mission to, uh, create awareness about acetanthin and, and its benefits. Wow. That's great. That's great. So, um, was there a particular point where you said, oh, okay, I'm going to make it in a pill or I'm going to make it in some other different way? And, you know, how did you come about uh, figuring out what form you were going to do it in? Yeah. So um, when we first started this, um, the the group we were working with that was growing the microalgae mm -hmm. um, was actually looking at supplying um, the product to salmon feed. Um uh, farmers and manufacturers as a key ingredient in in their feed, um, oh, but but that process ended up not being um, feasible and scalable. And, and uh, but given the the important health benefits, uh, uh -huh. we said, well, let's actually you know uh, bring out a dietary supplement uh, with this product. And so back in two thousand, we launched um, a dietary supplement with astaxanthin from the microalgae that we were growing on the Big Island of of Hawaii. Oh. Um, and, and so. Um, we quickly realized that even though it has important benefits, the production of the algae in these big open ponds on the Big Island of Hawaii um, is very challenging. You know, it's, mm. it's risk, it's uh, kind of uh, prone to contamination. Um, batch to batch variability is an issue. Uh, it takes a lot of water, a lot of land, a lot of energy. Um, it's, so it's actually not the most sustainable um, and, and it's not the most scalable. And so if, if virtually everyone can benefit from this product, you know, thinking ahead, how can we do this in a way that is, is actually, you know, practical um, and good for the world, good good for people. Um, and so we, we pivoted to utilizing natural product total synthesis, which okay. is basically where you work in the laboratory and construct the natural molecule step-by-step step to make the exact same nature identical molecule, the exact same, mm structure, it's the same, you know, carbon and oxygen and hydrogen and, and mm -hmm. everything that you would find in nature. But rather than trying to extract it from the algae, where you're left with still 90 to 95% other stuff from the algae and not just the astaxanthin that you want, mm -hmm. 
-hmm. we can we can produce just the astaxanthin molecule itself in super high purity, uh, very high consistency. Um, and, and so then we formulate it in, into uh, a highly bioavailable form so that you can absorb it really well into your body. Um, and so we, we found that this combination of the superior purity, the increased absorption or bioavailability, mm -hmm. and the increased environmental sustainability with less water, less land, less mm -hmm. energy, less raw materials, all of that um, was was the, the best path forward. And, and so um, with that, we actually looked at both pharmaceutical and nutraceutical applications of the product. And mm -hmm. so if you look at, say, uh, by comparison, the fish oil or omega-3 market, yeah. there have been both prescription forms that have been mm -hmm. developed and also supplement forms. And so mm -hmm. we took the same uh, approach and looked at pharmaceutical applications of the product, uh, very high doses, disease types mm -hmm. of states, and, mm -hmm. and uh, shown reductions in things like plaque buildup in the arteries or blood oh, clots wow. or liver damage and things looking at that pathway. Um, and then we also um, looked at benefits for uh, health and longevity applications as a dietary okay. supplement. Um, and, and so um, we believe that in the supplement form, um, it's accessible to everyone. Um, and, and, you know, people can take this as a, as yeah. a daily, you know, health product as part of their normal routine. If they're taking a okay. multivitamin or a fish oil, this is a great addition to that to help with your daily health, um, but also mm -hmm. how long you live. So your lifespan uh -huh. and your health span, you know, how healthy you uh -huh. are throughout your life. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense. Wow. So, um, do you, do you sell it in, in, um, health food stores and places so like we, that or? Yeah. So, um, we had, um, uh, had a, a prior form, um, of the product that we had, uh, sold in, uh, nutritional stores um, okay. and marketed with uh, physicians uh, in terms uh -huh. of benefits so they could relate the benefits to to their patients. Um, and that was certainly pre-pandemic, but the world has changed and, and you know, yeah. shopping behaviors are different. And, and so um, we always felt that the way to reach the most people and help the most people would be to do this direct to consumer uh, uh -huh. through a, a digital model. And, and so uh, so, so we launched uh, AX3 Life, uh, AX3 Life, as, as a website to create mm -hmm. the education um, and, and the shopping experience for the product, um, and and also an Instagram community as well. Um, and, and so we're we're doing this just as an online direct to consumer um, okay. at, at this point because we think it's the, the most uh, efficient way to to reach mm -hmm. people. And and this is not a product that that people know about. And so putting it on a shelf in a health food store. Is, is not really gonna you know have much impact because people are not gonna right. even be aware of what it is. And, and so we wanna create this conversation uh, organically through you know friends and family, um, mm -hmm. you know, conversations like like with you, like we're having, um, uh -huh. social media, web, et cetera. And 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 that's the approach that we're taking and and then um and building this community and and then uh, just efficiently um you know uh, setting up a subscription and, and sending people a monthly supply uh, is the way that we think. Uh, is going to work well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That, that sounds, that sounds interesting. So when did you pivot to doing that? Uh, we, we pivoted over the course of the last couple of years. Um, okay. And so we actually just launched um, this, this brand called AX3 this year. Oh, okay. um, and, and so it's been kind of a, um, you know, a, a COVID or pandemic uh, shift uh -huh. to, uh, to develop this this brand and and this uh, mechanism to mm -hmm. uh, to reach uh, people and um, we we still have our uh, predecessor form uh, uh, brand of the product that is available in say some stores in Hawaii mm -hmm. uh, some nutritional stores and and retailers um, but but we felt that really to to reach most people mm -hmm. uh, doing mm -hmm. doing this shift uh, here uh, you know throughout the pandemic would would be the way. Uh, to go. And so, yeah, so this particular brand we just launched this year, um, but oh, the wow. underlying ingredient and the science behind it has been in the works for right. 25 yeah. years. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. 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 You're just, you're yeah. just pivoting to a different. Yeah. Mechanism of, of yeah. you know, um, you know, mm -hmm. speaking and connecting with people and, and yeah. uh, creating awareness about it because it's a hard molecule to pronounce, uh, you know, astaxanthin. It, when you look at it on paper, it's, there's a lot of letters and there's an X in there. And so it's kind of uh you know, a bit overwhelming. Uh, so what is it? How do you say it? You know, what does it do? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, kind of that's more of a reflection on human beings than it is on yeah. the, uh, the actual name. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Sorry. 
<laughs> it just hit me. It's like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, got mm -hmm. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we tried to shorten the name. That's why we call it AX3. Three, so it's easier yeah. than astaxanthin. And, and it kind of yeah. highlights those three benefits I talked about in terms of increased purity, increased bioavailability, uh -huh. increased environmental sustainability. And, and uh -huh. so, and I'll just mention in terms of that three times or increased bioavailability, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, just because you take a capsule of a supplement, that not all of it necessarily gets into your body, no. gets into your bloodstream and your tissues. A lot of it can just pass right through you and, and it's very unfortunate. So you're not actually absorbing. And so we developed this uh, you know, special formulation with our manufacturing partner that um, allows it to be readily absorbed. And we did mm. a head to head human study where we took a version from the microalgae um, mm. and gave a group of human volunteers uh -huh. um, a, a dose and, and then measure their blood levels of astaxanthin over the course of a whole day and, and then have them not take any astaxanthin supplement or, or food for a week, brought mm -hmm. the same people back, gave them the, the same dose of, of our form, and mm -hmm. then again, measured their blood levels. And we got three times the amount of astaxanthin wow. absorbed into the blood. Yeah. And, and so, um, that's, that's a huge difference in terms of biological utility uh, because it does have a dose dependent effect and so the more you get in um, the, the the better you know the benefits you could uh, hope to experience um, yeah. also from a cost you know standpoint you know you need to buy three times as much of the other to have the, the equivalent of ours and, and so, so that's something and there's that no way to know is, right mm -hmm. I mean really I mean when I take it when I take a vitamin I don't know how much of it actually gets into my system yeah, yeah. And so we have measured that and and yeah. and actually in, in our with our product, not only was it three times more, it was less variable between the individuals. Because mm. there's always some variability between right. people. There was a lot more variability with, with the microalgal form. And so we think that when we presented this to healthcare professionals, that's something that they really take comfort in because you know, not only is it pure, but it's well absorbed and it's more consistent, um, you know, person to person. And so mm -hmm. that that's you know really important to to yeah actually know what you're putting in your body and, and uh, having the most you know, help that you can with that. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So, so you are going direct to the consumer as well as going through the medical professionals. Yeah. So we have our roots were in the early 2000s after we pivoted from the microalgal form to the natural product total synthesis form. Mm -hmm. We actually did a decade of pharmaceutical development. Um, mm. And like I mentioned, we did various studies right. looking at its impacts. We worked on the manufacturing uh -huh. a lot. And so our expertise was really in the science and working with doctors and, and, and scientists. Mm. And so when we initially launched a dietary supplement form of this product coming from the natural product total synthesis, um, we, we, marketed to healthcare professionals, to, to mm -hmm. various types of doctors, nurses, you know, mm -hmm. even dentists. Um, and, huh. and so, yeah, so we, we presented thousands of them over the years. Uh, we've had, you know, dinners and seminars, uh -huh. con continuing medical education programs. Um, we've even been, had, say, a meal where we're sitting down with a doctor, a group of doctors, talk about the science, and they get so excited, you know, they'll ask for a sample and start taking it right there with the, with the meal, you know, and so... Um, so that's, that's kind of been our roots, um, yeah. you know, but it is hard to change physician behavior. They're so used to writing the prescriptions that they write. And, and so to actually change that behavior, um, is, is harder. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that's why we pivoted to going direct to consumer. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and so mm -hmm. this is something where, you know, we, we love speaking with physicians and, and so for any that don't know about this or want to learn more, you know, we're happy to have those conversations and hopefully they can help create awareness within their communities. Um, but at the same time, you know, consumers, you know, everyday you know, people, everyone is smart mm -hmm. and doing their own research with great tools online. And, and so we're trying yeah. to um, you know, provide that information and, and education so that they can uh, really dig in and, and, and understand. And, and the more you dig, the more you research, um, it, it's I think the more uh, trust that you'll, you'll have yes, in the product and, and, um, and, and trying it for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no, I would I would agree. I would definitely agree. Yeah, it's. Um... Yeah, especially these days, right? Because there's so many um, vitamins. We just use that as kind of an overarching yeah. mm -hmm. thing. Um, so many of them out there. Just total number, right? Let alone the ones that are in your in your niche that you're that you're in. 
Um, and it is, it is one of those trendy um, vitamins in that, that particular um, yeah, and there's so many very things. popular. Yeah, I some people in some spaces. Uh, yeah, mm. I mean certainly in the scientific community, in the longevity and and the real health conscious community. Uh, but outside of that, uh, a lot of people don't know about it. Um, and um, and it like you said, there's so many things. It, it's confusing. Um, you know, should I be taking this vitamin or this supplement? And and oh, mm. I saw this Instagram person talking about it or this celebrity talking about it. And yeah. um, and you know, and so it's it's hard to to know. And not everyone follows even the FDA regulations in terms of what you, you know, can actually oh, say sure. on the label or in your advertising and, oh, and they'll no make doubt. claims yeah. that are not compliant. And so, um, so we, we try to be very, you know, uh, strict about, you know, making sure we speak about it in the right way. Yeah. Um, and, um, and so, yeah, we, we think that it's really important to have trusted conversations, you know, whether it's with a healthcare professional, mm -hmm. um, or, you know, say with a, a trusted, you know, podcast hosts such as yourself, yeah. I mean, having conversations with, with people that, uh -huh. that, that people trust, you know, are important right. yeah, and then providing access to the science, to the research, uh, mm -hmm. so people can see all the safety that supports it, all the various studies that support how it works and, mm -hmm. and what it does, um, are really important to separate it from, you know, from the noise of everything else that, um, you know, is not necessarily as, as well supported. And so we think that astaxanthin is something that should fit into the foundation of what people take. Uh, for overall health and longevity, because it it gets throughout your whole body into the cells mm -hmm. in your liver, mm -hmm. in your heart, in your brain, wow. and reduces the excess uh, oxygen free radicals that are uh -huh. created uh, when your body produces energy. Um, okay. And normally, your body has internal uh, mechanisms to deal with mm -hmm. that. But over time, you know, as we age or related mm -hmm. to environmental factors, obesity, smoking, injury, infections, all these things start to overwhelm your body. And then this body starts to have this chronic inflammatory state that drives aging, which mm -hmm. in turn drives more inflammation, this mm -hmm. inflammaging process. Yeah, right. um, and, and so to have something that you can uh, take safely every single day to help mitigate that and fight that inflammation is, mm -hmm. is a core foundational type of product. So multivitamins, omega-3s, probiotics, um, you know, are all common kind of foundational types of products. And we, we think that astaxanthin, you know, should be part of, of that foundational day-to-day -day health regimen. Mm -hmm. And then separately, there's another community and growing community of people that are really interested in longevity, both mm -hmm. how long you live, your lifespan, but how oh, healthy you are throughout your life, right. your health span, of course, that's which right. is what we want. No one wants to live long if they're not healthy and feeling no, good. Um, no. And so there's been a lot of research looking at various agents that can impact longevity and astaxanthin, in addition to having impacts on, on health, like your joint health or your mm. heart health or brain health, mm -hmm. there's actually been research in various um, models looking at extension of, of lifespan as well. Uh -huh. And so there, there's some really exciting research in that space. And, and so there are other kind of hot topics or ingredients related to longevity mm -hmm. that have had a lot of press in recent years. Um, mm -hmm. but, but the science around astaxanthin for longevity uh, for lifespan and health span is actually uh, really strong. And, and um, mm -hmm. we're even working on a study with the National Institutes of Health um, mm -hmm. that is looking at lifespan and um, is in the process of being uh, peer reviewed uh, for publication wow. uh, this year. And so that'll be something that when that's announced later this year, um, there'll be even uh, more conversation about the role of astaxanthin for longevity. Um, and so we think that astaxanthin will really be part of that conversation going forward, both about longevity and then just overall health uh -huh. um and, and so it's something that uh we we think a lot of people just haven't heard about it you know it's it's been known in the scientific community it's been making its way into various uh you know circles but uh it's something that over the course of the next several months and years um our goal is really to bring this into everyday conversation so people yeah. say oh yeah i take omega-3 oh yeah i take acid you know and this is something right. that should be known Exactly. And, and so they, people don't end up with, when someone says that to them, they don't end up with the, this look on their face, like, huh? Yeah. What is that? Yeah, what, exactly. What? Mm -hmm. you know, or, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 No, exactly. Are there, are there things with some vitamins? Um, they say, okay, don't take it within six hours or taking this other one mm -hmm. or, you know, take it when you go to bed or take it. I mean, so I'm assuming that you have 
have all of those kinds of things identified either on the packaging or in how yeah. you're getting the getting the word out what are some of those things that people should be thinking about yeah this is certainly a very unique uh, situation with astaxanthin where there's been extensive safety studies mm -hmm. very high doses long types of studies mm -hmm. say in animals to support its use in humans um, mm -hmm. and looking at um, just general safety concerns, carcinogenicity, reproductive mm. and developmental toxicity, all these types of things. And there's really been nothing identified that is of clinical significance mm -hmm. to the safety of, of humans. Um, and even in terms of uh, interactions with other medications or supplements, um, there's been nothing that's been, say, shown in clinical studies mm. um, to, you know, like, say, with statistical significance to demonstrate that, oh, you can't take acetanthin with something else. I mean, we, we mm -hmm. always recommend that if someone is on various medications or supplements or has mm -hmm. various medical, you know, issues that of course they have to enter, you know, have to consult their doctor or healthcare professional mm -hmm. and monitor their health and figure out for them, mm -hmm. you know, what medications, what supplements. And, and mm -hmm. if you add anything new or modify anything, you always want to be on that and, and adjusting right. things as needed. And so with that caveat, um, there, there are no known, um, mm -hmm. you know, things that are off limits, like, oh, don't take it with this, don't eat it with that. What we do um, you recommend for everyone is to certainly take astaxanthin with a meal because it promotes absorption. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, and so that's one, you know, mm -hmm. you know, common tip. It could be breakfast and dinner. It could be one or the other, as long as it has some healthy fats in it, which helps to promote mm. absorption. So it could be okay. avocado or nuts or olive oil. Um, some fat content is, is important. Um, one thing that can be experienced by some people, um, although we wouldn't consider this a safety uh, mm -hmm. or a side right. effect, really, is is it can um, discolor the stool mm -hmm. just because, uh. you know, it makes salmon pink and lobsters red. And, you know, and, and so it's like eating beets. Um, oh, it, how funny. It, if, yeah. it, if it, if it yeah. does pass through, it can discolor the stool. But certainly, if you're taking it with a meal, um, it, it, it seems be. to reduce mm -hmm. that or eliminate it. So it's not going to happen for everyone. But if it does happen... It's a sign that some is getting through and maybe try to take it, you know, closer to a meal or, or look at, did okay. you actually have any fat in that meal Just and hopefully that, that yeah. can reduce it. But that's the main thing that people have experienced. Uh, again, not okay. a safety concern, but just, you know, uh, an no. effect that, that can happen. Um, yeah. yeah. So, well, that that's, that's good to know though, because people will freak out if they, yeah. If yeah. they don't understand and, that. And actually we've had it where, um, you know, as, as a, positive byproduct, you know, there are some people who take various NSAIDs, um, you know, that, you know, anti-inflammatory drugs, mm -hmm. not just for the acute short-term use that they are intended for, but they're taking them for long-term right. health issues, you know, joint issues and things that, mm -hmm. um, or even if someone has heard about inflammation, like, oh, I want to reduce my inflammation. Right. I'll just right. take, you know, ibuprofen or, or some type of aspirin or, or, or something. Yeah. And, and, that's not something you want to be doing chronically because of side effects. And so we've had reports of people who were able to reduce or eliminate their reliance on some of wow. those products um, for long-term health issues, because, uh -huh. you know, as, as a supplement, you know, we're not a replacement for a drug for disease or pain indications, but when people are relying on those drugs for health and longevity purposes, um, you know, that that's not what they're intended for either. And, and so true. we've had people that could actually reduce or get off of some of those products Mm -hmm. and just rely on acetaminophen, which is much safer. So that's oh, yeah. a, a positive yeah. side effect. No, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I think my mother probably lived on Tylenol for like <laughs> 10 years before she passed. Yeah. yeah, that's that's tough. Yeah, I mean, liver issues, you, you don't want that. We've actually shown benefits in, in terms of liver, um, reduced liver enzymes oh, uh, rather than elevated, okay. which a lot of things uh -huh. can, can impact yes. that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Luckily, knock on wood, we're whatever um she, <laughs> she didn't develop any yeah any of those kind of problems mm -hmm. yeah she, she had plenty she had plenty of problems but that wasn't one of yeah. them <laughs> and interestingly you're, you were mentioning to me before we we uh, started here that um you know she suffered from a lot of allergies and yeah. and and so the the immune system was very active and and so with yeah. with astaxanthin uh, we've seen, say, for instance, in salmon, that they are less prone to infection uh, with astaxanthin. And so um, oh. it's kind of counterintuitive because a lot of times when people think about anti-inflammatories, um, you know, they have to be concerned about the risk of infections because it's having such a potent impact right. on on inflammation. Mm -hmm. it, it shuts it down, but then you're no longer able to have your immune response, you know, as you should mm -hmm. for normal, you know, mm -hmm. health. And so 
with astaxanthin, rather than working downstream or just shutting down the inflammatory process completely, it gets rid of that pathological activation of inflammatory pathways mm -hmm. that you don't want. That is kind of when it's going out of whack or going awry. Um, and so because of that, you can still fight off infections or wound heal. So your immune system can still function normally. Uh, it's mm -hmm. just not doing the unwanted, you know, inflammation right. that mm -hmm. over time can manifest itself as, you know, a heart issue or a brain yeah. issue or a joint issue. Um, and, and so that's something where, you know, restoring cellular health, homeostasis, kind of the normal order and working of things in your cells is really the way that, that astaxanthin works as kind of that mm. safeguard and support system. Uh -huh. That's how it can be safe, but also have benefit and, and allow your immune system to, you know, to, to behave in a more normal way. Yeah. Yeah. No, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's, that's good. Yeah. Because people, um, yeah, I just won't go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> yeah. So there's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so it sounds like you've, you've, what you've done is put together this whole um, supply chain yourself and doing it that way so do people then is is there a website or something that they go to or how does it yeah. how you set that um, up for people to to um we have our website ax3.life okay. um and also on instagram it's the same ax3.life and uh -huh. um and so uh ax3 is it basically for we abbreviated astaxanthin. Um, and also we have the three in there because it gives three times the amount of astaxanthin oh, to your body. Very cute, yeah. But also the, the three benefits of the manufacturing purity, the increased absorption, and the environmental mm -hmm. sustainability. So kind of a double meaning there, but but AX3 mm -hmm. is the yeah. brand. And then you know, dot life. So rather than dot com, we, we utilize dot life because we are trying to you know promote better, healthier lives. And so uh -huh. so it's just ax 3life is the website, and then same thing. For Instagram, and uh, yeah, we have a lot of education there about astaxanthin, about mm -hmm. AX3, our form of astaxanthin, mm -hmm. um, and, and then also um, we ha we have it set up as a, su a subscription product uh, because this is okay. not something where oh I'll just try it and see if it works in a week or yeah, two because yeah, yeah. you know you don't see if if longevity works in a week or two. You know, this is something you're supposed to take for a while uh, mm -hmm. for your whole life, hopefully, mm -hmm. um, and and so we set up that way to conveniently ship to people. But at the same time, a lot of people can be concerned about, oh, I don't want to get locked into a subscription. What if I can't cancel it or, you know, that type mm -hmm. of a thing They just keep charging me. And so we, we make right. it super easy where people can log into their own account without even a password. It kind of sends a, mm. um, you know, a code to your email oh, okay. and phone. So you don't have to right. worry about saving a password or anything. You just uh -huh. put in your email. They'll send you the, the temporary passcode. You'll log right in and then you can easily skip, reschedule shipments, mm. you can update, you know, address, same address information, mm -hmm. you can cancel if you want. I mean, all that is there or uh -huh. you know, always reach out to our team and then our team will just do the same on, on their mm. behalf. If they don't mm. want to deal with logging in or anything, just send an yeah. email, give a call, leave a voicemail, whatever it may be, um, and, and we'll make the change. And so we want to make it as easy as possible, but at the same time, we want to instill that routine because it's, this is meant to be part of your daily healthy lifestyle. So just like you want to eat the right things and and mm -hmm. do the right types of activities and and rest um all that is important and then this is a part of that so we want to kind of build this into that daily habit um and, and promote that health in in the long term okay. okay yeah 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 and it it sound it sounds like there aren't many things that you have to worry about an interaction with yeah again we um mm -hmm. you know um we don't know what we don't know in terms of, uh, you That's know, true. not every person has consumed this, you know, but at the same time, you think about, um, you know, a lot of people have consumed salmon and uh, right. haven't heard of side effects I, of I eating salmon. I eat it every day, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and, but not to be confused with, say, shelflet fish, where, you know, this does make right. lobster and crab and shrimp red, yes. um, but but the allergens that are present in those crustaceans are not present in acid right. and that, yeah. that's something else. Yeah. And so, yeah. but again, so if, if anyone has concern about, allergens or you know can i you know tolerate this it's like well can you eat salmon I and mean, that's a good start if you can eat salmon then then you should be able to consume astaxanthin um and then it's just a matter of what dose works for you and so we recommend one capsule morning and night with breakfast and dinner um mm -hmm. but people can adjust you know up or down depending on how they feel you can look at 
how you're sleeping, your mm. mental clarity, your energy. You can look at your joint health, mm. your muscle health, um, you know, cardiovascular uh, health. So we've actually done a human clinical study in cardiovascular patients that had, um, they were already on all the normal cardiovascular medications, but we showed on top of all of that, reductions in cholesterol, reductions uh -huh. in blood pressure, and you know, things like that. And, and so um, you can even say, with, with your doctor, when you go in for your routine checkup, so whether it's three, six, 12 months, you know, take a look at your blood levels of your mm -hmm. LDL cholesterol or your triglycerides mm -hmm. or your HSCRP, which is a measure mm -hmm. of, of inflammation, and then see where it is after taking the product for three months or six months. And then you can potentially adjust up or down and then check again the next time and see. So you can look at both, you know, biomarkers, you can look at how you feel, mm -hmm. uh, joints and muscles, you know, mentally. Mm -hmm. um you know recovery if you're doing uh, yeah. active types of things and so there's a lot of different ways to kind of experience it and, and see you know if it's benefiting you and so you have all that plus you have the underlying science which supports increased lifespan and long-term health because a lot of these mm -hmm. things cardiovascular issues brain issues joint issues they don't necessarily happen overnight i mean maybe if you have an injury but otherwise they are you know long things that progress over years and decades and so if you can have this you know mm -hmm supportive agent on board, uh, then that compounding yeah. effect uh, of supporting your health for years and decades can really help you be on a much better trajectory. And, and, and so rather than trying to fix a problem and waiting mm -hmm. for it to happen yeah. uh, at whatever point in life, it's easier to try to stay as healthy as you can and as active as you yeah. can yeah. Um, you know, throughout life. So that's really what we're trying to support. Yeah, no, and that makes, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, mm -hmm. because... Um, there is a real attitude with a lot of people. Well, but I feel fine. Why would I want to take anything? Yeah, it's like, exactly. yeah, but don't you want to continue to feel fine? Yeah, it's like, well, I don't get in, you know, car accidents, so why do I need car insurance, right? Yeah, you know, right. It's like it's you, you, you want to yeah. protect yourself. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, yeah. So the smart thing to do is to do something like this, and especially mm -hmm. something that's not going to cause, uh, you know, other side effects or, or safety issues. So something that's right. super safe, you have to start there. Uh -huh. um, and then, and then, you know, have it on board and, and support your health along the way. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 absolutely. Absolutely. And, it, and, you know, it's easy enough just to start with one a day if somebody's worried. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. People and can then, do that and, and experiment and, then, and see how it goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So that means I don't have to eat my salmon in the morning anymore. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, salmon still has omega threes, which are great for you. And, and I know, but I take know. those too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you don't I mean, want to see all the stuff I take. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, uh, so we obviously, yeah. Whenever I can get salmon, I I'm eating it as well. And yeah. so it's I, I yeah. it's not a replacement, but it is. It would be hard to consume the amount of salmon needed for this. You have to consume several several yeah. fillets oh, no. of salmon every day. And yeah, so, no, uh, just I'm I'm. But, uh, but yeah, certainly, you know, incorporating <laughs> together with, with a, with a diet yeah. that is healthy is, is great. And so, yeah, you don't necessarily need to eat your salmon for breakfast anymore, <laughs> but hopefully with it, with a nice, yeah, I don't need that much. I just, <laughs> I make salmon salad, you know, there you go. So, yeah. um, you know, yeah. and I eat, you know, about that much of it every day mm -hmm. with, uh, with avocados. Yeah. Perfect. Well, <laughs> that would be a perfect meal to then take your eggs. It with. is. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yes, exactly. yes, yes, exactly, exactly. And then my buckwheat bread and perfect. My almond butter on it with honey. Yeah. Best breakfast You're... around. That sounds great. <laughs> and organic yeah. and organic coffee. Perfect. Yeah. Really yeah. Those so those are the types of meals that would be perfect to, uh, to take uh, yeah. our product with. And and so yeah, so we, we don't think this is necessarily okay. a replacement for for a healthy diet or exercise, but it's a perfect no, compliment to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. They work, they work together. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Well, I think maybe we can wrap up unless you have some other things that you wanted to talk about. Um, I will be happy to put your website in, although it's pretty easy to remember, mm -hmm. but I'll I'll put it I'll put it in the show notes anyways. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah. So, th and great information. And I'm really excited about, about trying the product out. Sounds excellent. So, that was, it was a real age, pleasure. I need to chat all the you. help I can get. 
I think I think everyone can can take all the help they can, and, and it's important throughout life. Yeah, it's never too late to start, and and I, I think it's something that can help people uh, at, at at any age just live a longer, healthier life. So yes, uh, yeah. yes, yeah, exactly. Thanks so much. Exactly. It's been so, it's been great chatting with you, and yeah, we'll, we'll stay yeah. in touch. We have new research ongoing and and new oh, studies boy. coming out in the future, and okay. so we'll, we'll just sounds keep you posted. good. That sounds yeah. great. That sounds great. So thank you. And let me say that neither of us are doctors and this is not to be seen as medical advice. And um, I think that's about all I have to say at the end of these things. And thank you very much, David, for coming on and, and telling us about your new product. It's very exciting. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thanks.